Itchy Sucky. So I haven't done one of these videos in a long time. I'm going to do a favorites kind of video, showing you a bunch of different items I've got over the past couple months. Not really this past month, but from like December and uh, the beginning of January kind of thing. So let's go ahead and get right into it because I enjoy watching these and I haven't done one. I just, I don't know. <laughs> it's been a while. So let's get right into it. So I'm going to show you the beauty items first, and we're going to start off with these guys. These are hair sponge curlers, and they are really, really cute. And if you want, I can show you like a tutorial of how I do them. Um, they work wonderfully. I think they work so much better than the regular sponge curlers you can get here with the plastic clippy thingy. Those things just fall apart, they don't stick well in my hair, and they're kind of uncomfortable if you sleep on them. Whereas these are really, really nice. These ones in particular with this style, I have four of these, these are by a two house, and then I got a six pack for like two dollars of um, other ones. They're a little bit more flimsy, but they still work just as well. They are off of eBay, so I will put the link below for where I got them. The two house I got from my friend Ashley. If you've seen the Quiet Darlings video, then you'll know what I'm talking about. And if you follow my vlog channel, then you'll see when I got these. To make these really work and really stick and hold, I sleep with them in and I pair it with this. The Style Sexy Hair Spray Clay uh, Shine is level 1 and Hold is level 7 by the Sexy Hair brand. And I was looking for something of like a hairspray to use with Lolita a while ago and I found this at Target. This is tiny little bottle and I was like, okay, might as well try it because I have really, really thick hair and it's very, very hard for curls to stay. And I've noticed that curling irons kind of don't work very well unless you break it down to a lot of curls, but these ones work very, very well and they don't take as much time. So the... Um, the 25 things I hate about Lolita video with I have a little bit of curl in my hair, that's with these guys. The next item I've had for a little while, and that is this hand cream by A2 House, which I also got from my friend Ashley in the Kawaii Darlings video. And this cream smells like baby powder and I'm almost out of it now. It smells so good and it just makes my hands feel super, super silky. So I I still really, really, really love this. Plus the bottle is so cute. How can you not think this is cute? There's an other animals as well. Um, I've actually put some of these in my Amazon wish list just so I wouldn't forget about them. So I'll put the link for that specific item down below. Next, Sephora had, like, I guess they're holiday packages on sale of their makeup. I went in there with a friend um, in Town Square and I found these guys all in one set. I think it was like maybe $7 or five, I think it was $5 actually for these three. These are um, lip, or not lip, um, cheek tints. I'm not sure exactly what they call it. Colorful cheek, colorful cheek ink gel. It's a little hard to say. And this is Dahlia, Lotus, and Peony. And I use this one the most. I'll show you what they look like on my really, really pale skin. <laughs> so right here, there's just a tinge of pink is this one, which is Peony. This one right here is going to be Lotus, and yes, I drew on my hand because I just randomly do that, and I wish I had Henna. I really want to get Henna again. <laughs> um, these get darker and lighter depending on how much you put on and how much you kind of rub them in. And lastly, this one right here is Dahlia. They do last for quite a while all day, which is really nice. Something that's different between them and a powder blush, though, is the powder blush tends to blend more outwards. Whereas this, if you put it in here and you don't really work on blending it out, you kind of look like you got the rosy cheeks of a little doll. Next up, I got this from Baby Benin as a gift. This is the Twinkle Twinkle palette, and I actually took this with me to San Francisco along with my Belle Elf palette to kind of give me an array of different colors. And this has a black, a dark blue, a dark purple, a slightly lighter purple, and a um, white shimmery 
and it is by Pro Fusion and is really nice. Those are the colors and they are kind of accurate if you want. I can show you. Okay, so right here are the colors. <laughs> it's a little hard to see. I'm sorry, my lighting's bad right now, but here's the white, the light purple, the dark purple, the dark blue, and the black. And And they look a lot better than what you can see on my arm, so I'm sorry. I'm not a beauty channel, so I don't have that kind of lighting to really show you what the colors really look like. Uh, next up is going to be, this is something I actually found at Daiso, and I've needed a toner for my skin for quite a while. This is a sake skin toner uh, from Japan. It had a couple different ones, and it smells really nice. It has just a slight sake smell to it, but it goes away. So if you don't like the smell of alcohol or anything like that, you don't have to worry. It smells a little bit more like flowery and fru fruity. It's very nice. It's clear and cute, and I am loving it so far. It makes my skin feel very, very soft. So, yay! I'm going to be very sad when I run out of it and then I don't have it anymore. <laughs> okay, so the last beauty item is going to be this EOS, which fell out of my purse and my friend's car and has been missing for a while, but I finally got it back, so yay, I'm very happy. This is a blackberry scent. It smells so good. Like, mm, I love EOS so, so, so much, and this is probably going to be my favorite, and it's the cutest. Like, I love the swirly ones. And yes, I do collect the containers and I keep them and I'm going to have a whole rainbow of all the EOS containers because I'm trying them all, each one by one. This is my favorite by far so far. That was a little redundant, funny sounding, whatever. I love EOS. If you don't know EOS, if you haven't tried EOS, because I put off trying EOS for a very long time, try it. <laughs> yes, we have a little bit of a theme kind of going on here with the colors like pink, purple, and black. So next up is this is I got business cards because I keep having instances arrive where I tell people about my channel and because Yusaki Dahashi is a little, little bit of an unusual name not everyone knows how to spell it or you know it's just more convenient to have something and be able to hand it to them so I made business cards <laughs> and I wasn't going to for a while but I decided to go ahead and these are my business cards and I only ordered a hundred for right now, but yay, there it is. Everything is like pretty much what you see down below and what my channel is about. So I'm very happy and they're glossy on one side and just blank on the other. And they got a little bit of the soccer pattern and my profile picture. So Vistaprint had a deal going on and I got these really cheap, so I'm very happy with how they turned out. That makes me just feel a little bit more official, you know? <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just feeling. Okay, the next is another item from Daiso. If you follow my Instagram, I believe you would have seen it. This is it's a little dirty now because I've been using it since I got back. This is a duster. And if you know what, to be honest, it smells good. I'm not going to smell it because it's dirty, but I can still kind of smell the smell of the material. I don't know. It smells a little bit floral. I don't know. It's, it's funny how this can smell, but it's so cute. Like, it's got a little diamondy thing and it's got um stripes like it's like textured and uh, there is the print of the container and it's fluffy and the dust stays on it very well like you don't see dust flying off everywhere on the brush so it's it's cute i wish daiso was here in in vegas i'm going to email them and ask them to open one up here and i suggest if you live in vegas and you want a daiso here you should probably email the company and maybe hopefully they'll open one out here because I would love that so, so, so much. Yeah, do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we just have a couple more items because it's been a while, like I said, since I've done a haul, so I'm kind of like gathering up all my favorite things right now. This. If you've been watching my videos, you've seen me with the tattoo choker, where you can get these for like $5 at Claire's or something. You can get them for less than a dollar on eBay. You just gotta wait a month for them to get here. So I ordered two of them before, and they're really nice. They're not breaking, they're not falling apart or anything. So that's fine. I'll put the link below for where I got these as well. I love the tattoo chokers. I love them when they first came out in the 90s. I love them now. I'm so glad that they are making a um, re return, I guess you could say. So yes, I love the tattoo chokers. Love, love, love. I have a gray one on the way. So hopefully it'll be here. I don't know when. It's been a while since I've ordered it. <laughs> 
Alright, last few are going to be clothing items. This little guy I got with a gift card in the children's section of Dillard's. It is a fuzzy wuzzy top and yes, I can fit children's clothing. So it is super soft and this has been keeping me warm. I took it with me to San Francisco and it's got a little bit of like a hole in the back and this is supposed to be shaped like a bow. You can kind of tell. It's really cute. It is by the brand Poof Girl. So yeah. <laughs> and this is a large. This isn't even an extra large. It's a large and I can totally fit it. So <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately though, I think the washing machine put a hole in it so I have to sew up a hole in this sleeve which makes me really sad. But I love this. I had a shirt like this in high school and middle school that was white. And every time I wore it, people always had to like come up and touch it and pet me. You know, it was a little funny. One of my coworkers actually did that. She came up and she pet me when I was wearing this to work. Um, so yeah, that was really funny. Okay, lastly, you've also seen this item if you watched my Angry Blossom clothing haul. It is this little cardigan. Um, it's just really simple. It's got pockets in the front, which I love because my ears fits in there. And skulls on the um, elbows area. And it goes all day long. I can pull over my hands a little bit, so I love that. And it's got three buttons in the front, and it's cut low enough where if you have a shirt, you can totally see what you're wearing. Yes, I am loving this so 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 much because I had a little black jacket before, and it's I had it for so many years and just falling apart. So I'm gonna be putting some patches and stuff on the back of this. I'm excited to do that, like a buckle patch and just like whatever else, like bands and brands and yeah, whatever. I like patches and stuff. So. Watch out, uh, watch the Angry Blossom video if you haven't seen that, if you want to see their other clothes as well. Yes, I love that. <sighs> None of these things here were sponsored, by the way. These are all my own opinions, but like I've said before, um, anything that I ever talk about is always going to be my own opinion that I love and I'm going to be honest about, so you never have to worry about me having to read like, a script or be dishonest. I know there are people out there who will just tell you whatever they want to gain whatever they want. So, yes. I hope you have enjoyed this. If you want to see more of these videos, please let me know. I'm not going to be really, you know, continually buying anything <laughs> for a while now, but um, there are like just items online that I kind of get into like more now and then I will fade. It's like a cycle. I know a lot of you guys probably understand exactly what I mean. You have like a favorite item that you had for a long time and then you just kind of stop doing it for a while. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure you guys know exactly what I'm saying. I'm silly sometimes. No, I have not had coffee. Anyways, may the force be with you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Again, I'm Isaki, and I hope you have a lovely day. Okay, bye.